Good evening, Empire Oak students. Thank you for joining me for Sunday Stories. So it's the last Sunday night in November, and I wanted to share a story with you that I've loved for a long time, and this is called In November by Cynthia Ryland. In November, the earth is growing quiet it is making its bed, a winter bed for flowers and small creatures. The bed is white and silent and much life can hide beneath its blankets. In November, the trees are standing all sticks and bones without their leaves, how lovely they are, spreading their arms like dancers. They know it's time to be still. In November, some birds move away and some birds stay. The air is full of goodbyes and well wishes. The birds who are leaving look very serious. No silly spring chirping now. They have long journeys and must watch where they're going. The staying birds are serious too, for cold times lie ahead, hard times, all berries will be treasures. In November, animals sleep more. The air is chilly and they shiver. Cats pile up in corners of the barns. Mice pile up under logs. Bees pile up in deep, earthy holes. And dogs lie before the fire. In November, the smell of food is different. It's an orange smell, a squash and pumpkin smell. It tastes like cinnamon and can fill up a house in the morning, can pull everyone from bed in the fog. Food is better in November than any other time of year. In November, people are good to each other. They carry pies to each other's homes and talk by crackling wood stoves, sipping mellow cider. They travel far on a special November day just to share a meal with one another and to give thanks for their many blessings, for the food on their tables and the babies in their arms. And then they travel back home. In November, at Winter's Gate, the stars are brittle. The sun is a sometimes friend, and the world has tucked her children in with a kiss on their heads until spring. All right. Okay, students, I hope that you had a wonderful week off and that you're looking forward to coming back to school tomorrow. I can't wait to see you, uh, but until then, sweet dreams.